Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today to share the perfect game day dip with you guys. It is a spicy cheeseburger dip, and let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need some ground beef, taco seasoning, milk, garlic, you're going to need some white pepper. If you don't have white pepper, that's fine. Black pepper will do. You're gonna need some salsa and some Velveeta cheese. So if you wanna see how this simple recipe comes together, stay tuned. So in my pot, I've got my ground beef and I'm going to add my garlic. And I am just going to let this cook until it is well done. Okay, so my meat is cooked. I didn't have to worry about draining the meat because um, I'm using a really lean ground beef. And as you can see, the meat is finely chopped. I love this chopper thing. It is a game changer. So the next thing that I'm going to do is add in my taco seasoning, my white pepper, and my water. And if I didn't mention it already, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So I've got my water in there. And I am just going to let this simmer um, a little bit uncovered until most of that water has evaporated. So most of my water has evaporated. So I'm, right now I'm gonna add in my milk and my Velveeta cheese that I cubed to make it easier to melt. So I'm just gonna give this a good stir and let this melt down. All right, so my cheese has completely melted and the last thing that I'm gonna do is add in my salsa. Now, if you'd prefer um, Rotel, you can do that too. Um, I've done both, so whatever your preference is. And of course, the spicier your salsa or rotel, the spicier your cheeseburger dip is going to be. And I am just going to let this warm all the way through, and then I will come back and show you everything all plated up. Okay, so here is the spicy cheese dip. As you can see, it was so easy to make. I've got mine plated up with some green onions on top. If you are going to have this dip out for a while, like at a Super Bowl party, um, I would definitely put it in a crock pot on warm just to make it easier to serve. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.